Welcome back to a brand new Clash Royale video, guys. My name is Patrick, aka Chief Pat, and today we're going to be hopping into a new Three Musketeers deck inside of Clash Royale that we're going to be trying out ourselves, and hopefully we can use this to pick up some fat dubs. That's right, we're going to be playing Three Musketeers, which, as you guys might know, is one of the worst types of archetypes for myself. I honestly don't play Three Musketeers that well, uh, so I wanted to get better at it by playing it today. And we're going to be playing Three Muskies Pump, obviously, but we've got giant Dark Prince inside of it. Normally, you see something like Ice Golem, you see something like bandit something like knight something like battle ram but we're going to be switching it up a bit and hopefully we can make this work let's do it we've also got double minions and the uh, zap which makes this a really versatile deck giant double minions is a really nasty combo as well if we have to bring that out instead of going for you know crazy three musketeer action but let's see if we can make this work i think this deck will work out decently uh, honestly even for a noob like myself with three musketeers hopefully i can make this happen and uh yeah let's go ahead and get this game started off right and we actually have three musketeers in our opening hand so I think one of the rules of Three Musketeers is that you're not supposed to just open with it as we play our Dark Prince going forward. Guys, mistakes have been made. I don't know what else to say. Mistakes have been made. That was a uh, an unfortunate trade right there as our minion goes in. And let's see what this guy has. Now, can we even play... Guys, what do we do right now? I think we have to take this expo damage. I think we have to take this... All right, here's the play right here. We're going to go three musketeers with it after taking out that executioner. Three muskies will walk across. Let's see what he has to take it out. Log's going to go in. We're actually still going to get some good damage, and we're going to damage this Electro Wizard. So, honestly, we played that pretty well given the circumstances. I sort of froze up right there. You guys might have noticed I stopped talking for a second just because I didn't know what we were going to really do. He's going to play his Elixir Collector. Obviously, we're fine with that, but let's go ahead and get ready with our Elixir Collector. And we do have the Giant for his Expo. So, that's going to be the real cure-all inside of this deck is the Giant for the expo he does not fireball as well he does probably have xc nato so we need to be very cautious of that as we go down the opposite lane speaking of opposite lane guys i'm gonna go for the giant minions right now just to see if we can do something he's actually gonna go ahead and play his expo to go down the uh this side right here the expo will actually target on uh to this so we're gonna have to play our zap to retarget it onto our dark prince I've got our Goblin Gang as well for this Electro Wizard to try to take him out. Looks like the Goblin should do okay. He will get some Zap value. Expo will lock back onto our tower for a little bit more damage, guys. This is turning a little bit sketchy. And uh, I don't know how this one's going to end up, so let's keep it cool right now. Get our Expo or our Elixir Collector ready. He doesn't have any direct damage, so I need to keep that in mind as we make these plays. As our second Elixir Collector goes down, let's see if we can make this work. All right, a minute left to do this. Um, fortunately for him... He's looking good as far as opposite lane uh, issues go. I'm going to go ahead and get our Giant going in now. Obviously, his Executioner is going to be strong. His P.E.K.K.A. is going to be very strong against our uh, our Giant. So three Musketeers are going to go in now. He's got his Executioner locked onto this Giant. I'll go ahead and let all that do, go, do work. There's his Tornado, which was pretty obviously going to come out. Uh, looks like that P.E.K.K.A. is going to die right now. And as this locks on, I'm going to get our minions down to stifle this push. But guys, who's going to be the one to finish off this game? 358 HP. He's actually going to play a defensive expo, guys. I definitely don't agree with that unless he has Giant inside of his deck. Let's go and split up our Goblin Gang to deal with some of this. Just to make sure that Electro Wizard doesn't lock on. 298 HP, guys. And uh, this is going to be a fascinating finish to this game. I'm going to do a Musketeer down the left-hand lane. Just to see what we can do, Giant's going to lock on in a moment. If he plays Executioner on the wrong side, which he just did, we're going to go ahead and go for Dark Prince. We're going to go ahead and go for Musketeer right here. Another defensive Expo is going down, guys. Dark Prince will end up getting stopped. These minions are alive, though, so I feel good about that. Zap's going to go in in a moment, but I still don't think it's going to be enough. That Electro Wizard's going to go down by itself, so no harm, no foul right there. I'll play our Giant in a moment to deal with this uh, Executioner, hopefully. Three Musketeers going in right here. Somehow our Three Musketeers got locked onto by this Expo. We have to play our Dark Prince. We need to get this P.E.K.K.A. out of our face, guys. Uh, everything's going down right now. Tornado, please don't come out. Giant, one more. Yes. That's going to be the end of the game. Going to beat down that P.E.K.K.A. And what an interesting deck. P.E.K.K.A. Expo I've actually seen before. And it's worked out successfully. But that was uh, quite the battle right there. And we're pretty fortunate to come out with a win. Obviously, our biggest problem was going for a very aggressive push to start off the game. Whereas Executioner... The one card we really didn't want to face was able to take it down. Let's go ahead and get into battle number two right now. Uh, a much more, you know, easy starting hand for us to, to play with. We got the Elixir Collector Dark Prince to catch something. He's going to go for a Golem, guys. Wow, that's an aggressive play right there. And uh, we need to figure out how we want to take this one down. I, I mean, I feel pretty good going against this Golem because I can just split my three Musketeers and then get ready in a second to go in with something else. I'm going to actually use our Dark Prince right now. 
As everything else goes down the other lane, he's going to play a poison spell, just simply not respecting us at all and letting that uh, witch go ahead, or night witch, go ahead and come through. Minions are going to turn around to take these bats out and then take on this night witch. I'm even going to zap this just to make sure we get a everything down right there. The golem's gonna go ahead and die in a moment, but I think it'll have enough damage to kill our tower. So overall, we're just gonna be up a ton of king tower damage to finish off this push. And I'm feeling pretty good about how we started off this game. 1600 HP is actually a really nice amount to have on the king tower after the first push. So let's uh, go ahead and get ready with another elixir collector. And if he plays yet another aggressive golem, or honestly, if he plays, makes that play right there, guys, I think we can finish this one off in style. Let's use our uh, minion horde. Obviously the barbarians we weren't expecting. He does have poison spell, but it's not in rotation. He has poison spell arrows. Are you joking me? Oh my word. Who plays poison spell arrows? Oh my lanta. That is some psychotic behavior right there. Um, actually I, I played poison arrows once. I'm not going to lie. I played poison arrows against uh, actually a pro player. Um, a while back and we were just i copied two random decks from the leaderboard that played poison arrows and it actually completely countered his deck and he was very very upset <laughs> about that uh as he should be because it was a, a very unfortunate matchup right there let's go ahead and take everything out right here get our minions ready in a moment he's gonna play his archers on the other side we shouldn't really take any damage right here given our defense poison spell is gonna go in that's gonna open us up to play our elixir collector Obviously, we want to get that down ASAP, but we're going to have to figure out a way to get this done. Uh, he's going to pump up yet again. Now, the one issue is his barbarians are such an immense pain that uh, it's just going to be a little bit difficult for us to get work done. So let's get our giant down in the back. Dark Prince to follow up in a moment for these nasty, nasty barbarians. He's going to drop his Night Witch. And uh, basically, we just don't want to give him too much value. So we'll cycle our three Musketeers right now and go for one set of them down this uh, left-hand lane. I'm even going to play Goblin Gang because the Barbarians are coming out. Guys, did you check that dirty prediction of the Goblin Gang right there? He's going to go for a graveyard right now. Cats and dogs, what in the world is going on right now? All of this is going in down this side. Arrows are coming in as well. Guys, we got to zap this down, I feel like. It was a panic zap, but it, it did its job. And wow. That's how you play Clash Royale right there. And guys, you got to give it to him in the face right here. Three Musketeers in the center. Let's finish this one off in style. Musketeer's going to lock on Golem. Not going to be enough. Musketeer, don't retarget the Golem. Don't retarget the Golem. Oh, it's beautiful gameplay. We're going to take the win. I'm yelling. Guys, I'm yelling. I'm yelling. I need to stop yelling. All right. GG, well played. 20, 20 HP is going to go down right there, guys. We're going to take down that Golem deck. He had Arrows Poison. Uh, not literally the worst possible combination you can go against when you're playing double minions. So... Very, very surprising we were able to pull out that dub. Other than Golem Graveyard really isn't that much of a deck. But this is this is what you deal with against sometimes. Sometimes you're playing decks that don't make a lot of sense, but they make sense against your deck. And that's, you know, generally the, the matchup that most people hate, uh, you know, in Clash Royale. Anyways, we're going to go ahead and take on Jose right here. He's going to drop a giant in the back. Not ideal. If you see an Elixir Collector, play your giant at the bridge and apply some pressure, guys, because he's going to give me two additional Elixir by playing it in the back and waiting for me to charge up. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get ready with my own giant right now to play behind or to play in front of his just to tank some damage so this is going to soak up basically everything he's worked so hard for right here gonna go ahead and play our dark prince as well as our minions as his giant rolls through and guess what guys that poison spell going down means that we have an insane counter push coming down his lane let's just go ahead and get ready for that if he has arrows guys i'll uh, delete my youtube channel so look at this six minions going down this lane right here he has zap he has electro wizard but they're not inside wait what wait what Oh my word, how did he have that right there? I was for sure thought he didn't have Electro Wizard in cycle, but still guys, that has to be a dead tower, just given, or close to a dead tower, given how much elixir he, he spent right there. 18 HP is gonna be all that we afford him after the end of this. And uh, I'm gonna play a giant, unfortunate. Guys, I am so bad at Clash Royale. Oh, how did I mess that up right there? I played a giant. And that's going to be a giant failure as we're going to take this prince on. He's going to even zap us. Just no respect for the chief at all, guys. I got to take this prince out. And that's going to be the end of this push. All right. A very tilting start to this game right here. We've got to uh, we got to keep it together. Not let it not let it get to our head. Dark Prince is going to connect. I'm hoping he plays something defensively against the Dark Prince. Doesn't look like he's going to bite. He does have poison spell, so let's be cognizant of that. I'm going to get our Elixir Collector ready. I'm going to play this right here. The reason I'm playing this is because I know that we have double Elixir to speed up our production um, in just a moment. So that's going to give us a good opportunity to cycle our three Musketeers. Ice Spirit going to go down here. Let's go and get the Goblin Gang to protect that just to make sure he doesn't get an easy way out. 
of uh, protecting his stuff. And we're going to just go ahead and drop a giant right here. Drop our minion horde as well. Drop our dark prince as well. And guys, that poison spell is going to be way too late, as well as it's not going to affect some of our minions. So we're going to get some really nice damage uh, over there. I do have to protect this, which seems silly. Should I be protecting this ice spirit onto our tower? I don't think I should. And guys, this is uh, this is turning into a very fascinating game. Now, I've made a massive mistake. I'm giving him poison value on these three musketeers, which is definitely going to be tragic in just a moment. Let's get our giant going down right now, plus our goblin gang to eat up some of this damage. Looks like our musketeers are going to retarget onto this uh, retarget onto this push right here. Giant's going to lock onto the tower. Goblins are going to lock on as well, guys. But we're still taking on so much damage. I have to zap this push. Ice Spirit will be able to connect, guys. 1,000 HP is all we have left to our name. And how are we going to get this done? I think we have to go ahead and split our three Musketeers right now. <clears throat> get our uh, Dark Prince down in a moment. Dark Prince is coming on in. Dark Prince is going to be able to tank for his, uh, his Prince right here. And I think we'll be able to step away from this push without really taking too much damage. His Poison Spell is going to go down, which, guys, you know the deal right now. Minion Horde needs to go down, but he does have Zap uh, Electro Wizard, which is going to be very problematic for us. There goes the Zap. There goes the Electro Wizard. Very nice defense from Jose, and this game is getting very, very dangerous. Uh, I can't stress the danger of this game right now. If he played a Giant offensively, which he just did, that would be a very bad uh, thing for us. So let's go ahead and get our Zap ready. Let's get our Minions ready. Let's get our Dark Prince ready. we got to kill this Royal Ghost before anything else. That's going to work very successfully for us, guys. Let's get our Giant down as well, just to start tanking. Goblin Gang going to go down as well to protect for this. We've got our minions because he's dropping his Electro Wizard soon. Electro Wizard's going to do its best. Oh, it's not going to tank for the Giant, though. And wow, he had way more tower HP than what I thought. That was uh, that was not ideal, guys. Let's go ahead and get our Dark Prince going in. Oh, man, if he has Zap, it's GG. I think this is GG. Uh, Zap's going to go ahead and go. One more hit from the Minion Horde. Uh, the Giant's going in, though. Oh. All right, we're going to go ahead and play our Giant right now, guys, but I think this is going to be GG. I need to cycle to my Three Musketeers and play it in the center immediately. But no, this Giant's going to block our Three Musketeers from doing what we want. Let's go ahead and drop our Three Musketeers right now. Three Musketeers going in. Goblin Gang going in as well. Goblin Gang going to try to tank. Ooh, it's not going to be enough. GG, well played. Oh, the pain. The pain we experienced right there, guys. And that's why we are a three musketeer noob. All right, GG well played to Jose. He played that one pretty well right there. Definitely, you know, all the plays I had in my head that I didn't want him to make, he made. And honestly, the reason we lost was earlier in the game. We should have never gotten our tower down to 93 HP. Missing that giant on that Royal Ghost really set us back. And once we got into double elixir, our deck definitely struggled uh, to hold weight to his. So yeah, definitely on my part, one mistake is all it takes to lose a match, guys. And that was definitely evident inside of this battle. Well, speaking of mistakes, let's start with the Goblin Gang. And he's going to go ahead and zap that down. Uh, taking a look at what his next play will be. We'll drop our Elixir Collector, no matter what he does. Dark Prince to follow up in a moment. If he has another Prince, that would be catastrophic. But instead, I'm just going to go ahead and take his Dark Prince on on this side. Uh, Poison Spell is going to do decent against our, our Dark Prince right here, but not really do too much. And all in all, we're going to be fairly even after this, you know, Elixir Collector comes to fruition, except he's going to go ahead and drop his, uh, his Prince right here. So we're going to have to drop our Minion Ward, but we don't have a Giant to play in front of it. All right, well... This is getting pricklier and pricklier by the second. Kim has Zap Tornado. Okay, interesting. Interesting little set of cards right there. So we're going to go ahead and go for our Giant plus our Minions to back this up right now. And let's go ahead and see how he wants to take us out. He has Zap, guys, but he doesn't have Tornado in Cycle. So that's going to be a nice set of troops coming down the lane. We've got our uh, Goblin Gang as well. I hope he doesn't have Electro Wizard. He does invest in a Poison, but those Goblins and Giant are going to beat that tower down to zero. Just what we wanted to start this game off. And uh, yeah, all we have to do is defend against Double Prince to take this matchup home. I'm not sure if he's playing Giant as well or if he's playing Golem. So let's keep our cool. Let's try to pump up when it makes sense, and when and but what I mean by that is let's just be an idiot and pump up whenever we want, right, guys? That's how we play Clash Royale. Pump is down, Dark Prince ready. Give it to me, man. I know you're going down. Oh, he's actually playing a pump as well. Well played, sir. Um, all right. Well, this will be interesting. I'm not sure what our next play should be. Uh, he does have poison, so three musketeering is going to be a little bit difficult now that one tower's down, um, just due to the fact that. It's going to be a little bit harder to make the plays we need. I'll get minions down. He might play Tornado um, just to try to take our push down a bit. But I think we should be okay to go ahead and drop our Goblin Gang now that our Dark Prince and Prince are working together. Or, no, our Dark Prince and Goblin Gang are working together in tandem. We go ahead and let this Dark Prince roll through, play my minion horde on this side. If he goes for the opposite lane, I think we've got a good opportunity. I'm going to play Dark Prince actually to tank. 
uh, because he did play, he misplayed his Tornado, but I was half a second late with my uh, Dark Prince, and because of that, we ended up suffering massive, massive casualties. All right, here we go down the lane once again, guys. I'm gonna play a Giant against this Prince-Prince combo. Looks like that's going to do okay. Double. Oh, wow. He's going to play a golem down this lane, guys. That's going to be GG well played. Simply not enough for him to defend with as he goes all in with that golem. Goblin Yang's going to start cleaning up. Musketeers are already cleaning up. Poison spell went in, but one more pocket set of three musketeers is going to be the end of the game. And uh, a very, very nice play. Actually, his poison spell is out of rotation, so I'm just going to go ahead and do uh, giant minions one more time. Dark Prince going to go down the lane. Minion's going to go down as well, and that's going to be GG. Well played. One more hit. No tornado. Ooh, that's going to go through, and that'll rock a 2-0 victory. All right, guys, we went 3-1 and one once again inside of a challenge. That seems to be our lucky uh, thing to go with, 3-1. and one. It's going to be a nice 2-0 victory over Kim. And guys, give this deck a go if you want to practice some 3 Musketeers. I feel like I'm learning more about 3 Musketeers. Obviously, one mistake killed me inside of my one loss today, and that generally tends to be the case. I think it's just not thinking clearly. And also, it's a matter of, like, not try-harding. I think... I make plays that seem fun in my head and are highly risky plays. And in honest, all honestly, if I want to be a better Clash Royale player, I have to throw those plays away and stick to the book. Really, Clash Royale is like playing a book. Um, you know, a lot of it, you just have to play by the book. You do have to have certain moments of intuition when to do predictions, you know, when you think you can really outplay your opponent. But besides that, you know, it is, it is sort of like chess uh, on your iPhone, iPad, Android, whatever. And uh, that's what we have to think of it as. Anyways, that's going to do it for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you smack that like button. Give this deck a go if you want. That's going to do it. Until next time, I will see you guys later. Peace out.